I think it is um, uh, developing the local knowledge um, so that they can take advantage of the significant um, opportunities that exist uh, in this centre uh, and this region uh, going forward. Uh, for 2020, PwC have uh, estimated that funds will grow by another 40 trillion um, uh, uh, dollars and a lot of that is going to be occurring in this region. From a software perspective, what we tend to find is compliance tends to be the biggest challenge here. Obviously there are a number of stringent laws, particularly those people who are trading in Islamic finance. And you know, hopefully for us, we actually are in the business of trying to simplify that compliance process. So certainly from our customers, that's what we're finding. They're looking for easier ways to, to be able to deal with all the laws that are placed upon them and bringing a software solution that enables them to do that is certainly the appeal to the asset management business and hopefully we're solving their problem in the process. A couple of challenges, I mean myself being in uh, worked uh, with global asset managers here in the region, Fred Needle Asset Management, All Mutual, Airbnb Amro Asset Management, um, I see the trend is of these asset managers going, I mean of, sorry, of these sovereign wealth fund, pension fund going more into passive investment rather than active. So. This is the biggest challenge for the asset managers here uh, because obviously a lot of people are coming here chasing the same clients, but I would say for example Adia is going passive, so uh, the challenge is for them to go back into active and creating values. So this is why they have to come with alternative solution that makes appealing for them to look at it. So it's regulation. Um, the, the, the environment we live in is a constantly changing regulatory environment um, and this region is, is no different to any of the others. Um, there are uh, rules that need to be understood and obeyed in order to gain access to the undoubted pools of capital that exist here. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, that, that's both the opportunity and the threat. Well, I think if we talk about the international people, I think the difficulty is to reach the distribution and to go and to move it to another front like the retail uh, distribution. Uh, everything is locked into the sovereign funds and I think that by having more um, att attachment to the, the retail investment, that would be the great thing. So that's the challenge. Uh, I think the biggest challenge for any asset manager in here is to try to attract investors from the international world. Because uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, any investor coming from outside is looking at the region as one entity. He's not segregating whatever UAE or Qatar or Saudi Arabia or Kuwait or Iraq. Whenever there is any problem in the region, they consider it as the Middle East region or the Gulf entirely is not stable. Uh, the biggest challenge for us is to just promote it that uh, no, there are plenty of opportunities. We're segregated with different economies and there is plenty of opportunity to invest in here. And the biggest uh, proof of this that uh, after the financial crisis we survived and we're still in here growing. <laughs>